All right, here's our next competitor in the Moto Slalom event. Handles the terrain of uh, obstacle pretty pretty easily, and we now have the reverse section. Yeah, it's important to note that uh, this event is hosted by Toyota and UPS. Without their support, both financially and with volunteers, it makes it difficult for us to bring this to the cities that we come to each and every year. Absolutely, Toyota and UPS both uh, having a big hand in this event. Yeah, it takes uh, upwards of 25 volunteers just to set this event up. Uh, later on, after this event is finished, we'll start rebuilding it for the next race, which will be this evening at 6.30. And we see him miss just a, another marker there, but uh, luckily it doesn't take it with him. Now what's the challenge of, of operating with a chair such as this one versus a chair with bigger wheels in the back? And smaller in the front. Does, well, that, does that change things? Well, I would say with the way that his feet are positioned in this chair, it obscures his view. Uh, so his feet could actually hide the cones and he not know where they are. But uh, you know, you'll see a variety of wheelchairs made by uh, multiple different manufacturers. Some of them have different options on them for that benefit their both their disability and the environment that they're riding in. Our athletes come from all over the United, the United States, not just the continental United States. And uh, we even have uh, some British athletes that come here annually as well. As we look at the, uh, the reverse section here, it's important to note that this is, this is not exactly the most easy thing in the world. And you can see he's actually missing a couple here and going through Hopefully not the wrong way. Yeah, he's, he's changing his mind there after there he noticed go. the color change. He got it all, all switched out. Now we have some symbols that are on the floor as well. For on, on certain occasions we have veterans that are colorblind. So we have a, a, a different type of arrow that signifies that it is a reverse gate for those who are colorblind. Absolutely. All right, now he's up to the door challenge. Nobody's actually made one of those cones fall yet, so I'm wondering if, if uh, we need to make this one a little more challenging in the future. No, I'm just kidding. But as, soon as, as soon as we do that, someone would slam the door hard, and he, oh, he shook them a little close, bit. Very close, very <laughs> close. They all shook, but none of them fell. You got the tennis ball. Oh, just the, first guy like to, the first guy to hit the tennis ball. Well, at least we know it is a, a true it obstacle. Is a, it is definitely a challenge. One more 360. The sprint to the finish. Nice and job. Well done there. Well done. 